Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjaga video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an awesome fan-made Ninjaga project made by the Ninjaga fan known as Brickalypse. You may recognize that name if you've been watching my videos for quite some time. I have worked with Brickalypse before in the past, and he's an amazing dude. He makes some awesome content, and I will be leaving a link to all of his stuff down below in the description. Like I said though, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of his designs and some of his story elements for his upcoming fan-made graphic novel known as Ninjago Mother. He said me some awesome character designs and some pretty epic story details. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all of those things and I will be giving my personal thoughts on them. And again, this includes character designs, story details, and even some more stuff that you may want to take a look at towards the very end of the video. In fact, if you like what you see throughout the duration of this video, feel free to stay tuned for the very end. I'm going to be discussing a new product as well, available from Brickalypse, related to the actual project itself. So I hope you enjoy and thank you very much Brickalypse for making this video possible. All right, so just diving on into things here, we have this section on the ninja and of course we have a nice image of Cole over here as a minifigure or at least what he would look like with his Ninjago mother design. I think that minifigure looks amazing. I wish I could add it to my physical Cole minifigure collection. The details here read the main ninja in Ninjago mother will be Cole. That's awesome to see. All six ninja Kai, Lloyd, Jay, Cole, Zane, and Nia will appear again but will all of them make it to the end? Ooh intriguing. I wonder which ninja if any might bite the dust in this graphic novel. Might need to keep an eye out for that. Their suits are known as the Thundercloud suits otherwise the TCS suits. I like the name Thundercloud suits. I think that suits these suits quite a bit. Suits the suits. Say that ten times fast. Uh, they will be worn in the Cloud Kingdom. I see. Uh, their suits are made from a fabric that adapts to the environment. Ooh, I like that quite a bit, actually. Uh, a lot of really good decisions being made here. In the cold, it warms, and in the heat, it cools down. This is important for the story. Interesting. All right, I'm curious to see how that actually ties into the story itself. Uh, one ninja will develop a new potential. Awesome. Always fun to see the ninja unlock new powers, new strengths, new abilities. Can't wait to see who it will be. Next up we have a section that explains the blindfolds that you can see on some of these ninja designs. Why are the ninja wearing blindfolds? If they look the villains in the eyes, they turn into monsters that cannot be turned back. In order to fight blindfolded, they must all sharpen their other senses. I like that idea. And also I do think the blindfolds make for a pretty cool design choice overall. It makes both the suits and the story stand out in my opinion. Next up we have the introduction of a new character known as Nito. The new character introduced is a side character named Nito. In Ninjago Mother, he appears as the son of the old tailor who made the suits for the ninja back then. He will accompany the ninja on a journey to the unknown. And here we have a little bit of a section talking about how Nito is based on the ninja of imagination, who I did a video on a while ago. Feel free to check that out if you so desire. Uh, a character that appeared in the Lego Universe video game. That is true. The imagination ninja did appear in that video game, and that's what he looked like for those that don't know. His powers and look have been changed for the novel. I like his design over here. I think his design is a lot more, I guess, uh, pristine compared to the old one. I think this new design does a lot for the character. Curious to see what his powers are all about, though, and how how they've changed from the Lego Universe video game. All right, now diving into the bad guys, the villains. The main villain is Mother. Their four subdivisions are Rodoa, Javin, Zerna, and Kivara, who are also magicians. All of them are magicians who, for centuries, have set themselves the goal of making all 16 realms into one huge realm, which Mother rules. Interesting. I like the idea of the villains trying to combine all 16 of the realms. It also explains why the ninja are going to be in the Cloud Kingdom in this story. In terms of the story, after Sensei Wu's disappearance, the ninja are on their own. They're looking for their sensei, one day they get a call from the museum, something was stolen. The newspapers report about a theft and in the evening the ninja get a call from a stranger that takes them to Jumanakai. There they meet Nido who has a lot to tell them. And of course the main part of the story will take place in the Cloud Kingdom as we saw from the earlier excerpt uh, about the ninja wearing these thundercloud suits in the Cloud Kingdom. It's awesome to see that the Cloud Kingdom is kind of at the center here of the storyline involving all 16 realms kind of merging together. And now we start getting into the ninja designs. Obviously we took a look at Cole's earlier in the video as it was all pieced together, but here's a more detailed breakdown of what the design entails. I do like the white on the suits, the little thunderclouds there. I think they look awesome. I also love the uh, bandages across the eyes. With Cole's, it's a little bit different because his scar needs to be shown. I think that's an awesome design choice. And of course, I do like the bandages on the arms uh, and the torso. And again, those robes are very pretty. I love the combination of white, black, and gray and brown on Cole's specifically. I think Cole looks amazing here. Here's the thundercloud design for Jay. A little bit of a shake up here from Cole's. Obviously, the clouds are a little bit more uh, prominent on this one. I think that works out fine for Jay. I also like the bandages again. Uh, this arm is a little bit different though compared to the Cole design which used bandages for both arms. This arm over here is different. I wonder if that's going to have story significance or if it's just a design choice. Either way it looks awesome and I think that Jay's costume overall looks pretty good as well. Here we have Kai's. I like how symmetrical Kai's outfit looks. I also like the white and red color combination along with the various shades of brown. Looks great for 
Kai. I can't really complain too much about Kai's design right here. I think Kai's design looks pretty sweet. I also like his symbol on the back with the black and the red color combination. Again, Kai looks awesome. Can't really complain too much about Kai. Next up here, we have Nia's design, and Nia looks pretty sweet, I'd say. I like the color combination of the gray, the blue, the black, and the brown. I also really enjoy the thundercloud pattern. Again, different from how it is in some of the other ninja. I like how each ninja has a different, unique thundercloud pattern. For Nia's design, I like it. It's not too bad. It seems very Nia-esque, and I think it's pretty great. Next up here, we have Zane. I love the white-on-white -white combo that we see right here. Again, makes him stand out among the other thundercloud ninja. I also like how his port back here is damaged. It appears to be leaking some type of fluid. And finally, we have Lloyd. I think Lloyd's design looks awesome as well. Love the different shades of green being used here, and I appreciate the thundercloud pattern, making his suit look a little bit more uniform, I'd say, compared to some of the other ninja. Of course, Zane's looks pretty uniform as well. Uh, Nia's is a little bit more chaotic, I'd say, but I do like how some of them are a little bit more organized, some are a little bit more chaotic. And of course, moving on to villains, here we have Mother, the character Mother itself in the flesh right here, and I love this design overall. I like the face as well, very, very uh, wrinkly, very creepy. I like that look. I also love the green eyes, I love the green texture on the skin, and I love the aesthetic of the villains overall. Again, very ancient looking, very, very crackly, kind of creepy looking. Here we have another villain, this guy is named Javin from what I can figure out, and overall I like how he looks too. Uh, more humanoid looking than Mother but also more uniform as well, looking like he's wearing some type of actual robe there. I also like his green little freckles there as well, looking pretty sweet. This is the third villain known as Kivara, and I like her design too. I like how her face is kind of decayed there. It seems like you can see some bone or some skull in there. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but that looks like bone there. Uh, kind of graphic, but I do like that design overall. It's very brave. It's a very smart choice considering this story. And overall, her design, while uniform, is also a little bit more chaotic in the face, and I like how that looks looks as well. Uh, these villains are pretty cool looking, all things considered. Here we have another villain, this one being Zerna. I appreciate how these designs look. I almost feel like these guys are human, but they got turned into these weird monstrous forms, but I like how Zerna looks. Pretty solid design overall, I'd say. Here we have another villain. This guy is known as Rodoas. Rodoas? Apologies if I butchered that name there, uh, but he appears to be some type of bruiser. Again, very, very graphic in terms of his design. I love the decaying skin. Kind of reminds me of some of the old Shima sets from way back in the day when they did the decaying ice zombies in 2015, but I love how this guy looks. Again, he appears to be a bruiser, very muscly, very heavy in nature. I also like his face. <laughs> really excellent face printing there, or uh, face design rather. Overall, yeah, pretty awesome guy right here. Moving right along here, we have the character of Yinto, who from what I understand is Nido's father. He's also a friend of Master Wu's and the designer of a lot of the ninja's original outfits. Also, according to the story detail, his wife was the previous master of imagination who actually left him and their son Nito to be with someone else. I understand that that's going to be important for future stories. I wonder what that's going to be about. I'm sure we'll find out later on. Here we have an extended look at Nito's character design sheet. As you can see right here, his design is awesome. I love how he looks quite a bit. Uh, I love his uh, gray suit, again, paying homage to the gray ninja of imagination from the Lego Universe video game. I also like his face sprint as well. Like I said earlier in the video, I think that's a much better design than the original Nido design, which really didn't do much of anything for the character. And here we have a slightly different, more casual design for Nido. Again, sleeveless. I like his tattoos there. And overall, I love how Nido looks in this novel. I think the design is really well done. And again, it does a lot more for the character than the original Lego Universe game ever did. And really quick here, we have a little bit of a teaser for another project that Brickalypse is working on. This is known as Ninjago Uprising. I wonder if this is going to be a sequel in a way to Ninjago Mother. I guess we are just going to have to wait and see but this project is on the horizon, much like Ninjago Mother. And really quick, we have an actual product right here that you can actually buy relating to the Ninjago Mother storyline. So if you liked what you saw in this video, consider this product right here. According to Brickalypse, this is going to be a flyer card based on the Ninjago Mother novel. The card is limited to only 15 pieces, and all of the cards will indeed be signed. When you buy this card, you also get special information about what's new, as well as other extras, and you'll be added to a group chat in which you can get notifications and sneak peeks. And also, according to Brickalypse, you might have the opportunity to be involved with future projects, and I would highly recommend checking out the Bricklips Instagram page and his shop for more information regarding this product specifically. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, I will be leaving links down below in the description for all of Bricklips's stuff, including his Instagram, his store, and his YouTube channel. Again, links to everything Bricklips will be down below in the description. And once again, huge thank you to Bricklips personally for making this video possible. Thank you for sending me all of this awesome stuff to talk about. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again later. Peace.